Information tonight on the disappearance of a nine year old girl. It was 14 years ago today when Erica Baker was last seen alive. Christian Gabriel served six years for gross abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence in connection with Erica's death. But he has not said where her body is. Erica was last seen walking her dog in Kettering. Today, police said she may have been hit by a van Gabriel was driving. Erica Baker would now be 23, but to her family, she'll always be nine. You know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. You know, we always have that glimmer of hope that we're going to find her one day. Erica's father, Greg, still has many questions about his daughter's final moments. Did she really get hit by that van? Did, you know, you know, did she pass away instantly or did she suffer? Greg believes Christian Gabriel knows what happened. Investigators say Gabriel confessed in 2004 to striking Erica with his van. As a parent, you always want to be there for your kids. What went through her mind? What was her mom? What was her dad? You know, that's, that's a hard thing to deal, deal with. When Gabriel was released from prison in 2011, it was Erica Baker's grandmother who picked him up. Unfortunately, he didn't remember very much, and he said he was very sorry. Erica's remains have never been found. Because where she's at right now, she is not at rest. And we just want to be able to bring her home and, and have a place to put her. Greg says he'll never stop looking for his little girl and hopes others will keep looking too. And if there is anybody out there that may remotely think they might know anything that's been holding it back all these years, come forward and say, because you know what? Even old leads can turn into something brand new. And Kettering police say this case is still open and they're still chasing down new clues. As part of that, they've released a computer generated picture of what Erica Baker might look like today. A fight is brewing over.